Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, we're gonna be comparing a 2021 Ram 2500 Bighorn Night Edition to a 2021 Ram 2500 Laramie Night Edition. But first and foremost, a huge shout out and thank you to the Dodge Ram here in Sandy for giving me some time with both of the trucks. Check out their inventory in the link below. Let's get straight into the video. Now let's go into the hoods of both the trucks. Starting over here with the Bighorn, we have a 6.7 liter inline six diesel known as the Cummins. It goes through a six speed automatic transmission known as the 68 RFE. Power outputs are 370 horsepower and then 850 pound feet of torque. And then going over to the Laramie, we have the exact same setup. 6.7 liter diesel, six speed automatic, 370 horsepower, 850 pound feet of torque. So from a mechanical standpoint, or I should say from an engine standpoint, same engine, same engine, same power, same power. Everything's equal. And that's all, folks. Let's go over the front ends of both the trucks, starting over here with the Bighorn. The Night Edition basically blacks out everything or and also makes it body colored. So you can see you've got the blacked out 2500 heavy duty badge here. And then you can see the headlight bezel itself has been blacked out. Halogen lights here on the Bighorn, fog lights down below with parking sensors along the front and then blacked out tow hooks. You've got the full blacked out grill as well. And then going over to the Laramie, you're going to notice that everything's the same except for the headlights. So still get the blacked out badging, the blacked out grill, body colored bumper with the blacked out tow hooks. And then you've got the fog lights down there. Still have the blacked out lights, but they're full LED lights. You've got LED reflector lights with the LED accent lights. And other than the lights from the front end perspective, you guys will notice they're the same, just different lights. Look over the tire and wheel setup of both the trucks. Starting over here with the Bighorn, we've got 285 millimeter tires on 20 inch wheels in the front. And then over here on the Laramie, 285 millimeter tires on 20 inch wheels in the front. And then the rear setup is the same on both of the trucks. And then the one difference you guys will notice here with the front, this one has the traditional shocks and suspension and all that. And then over here with the Laramie, you can see this one has the off-road package to get the blue shocks to let people know that this one does have the off-road package. And then you guys will also notice the Laramie has a painted fender flare here, whereas the Bighorn, there is no fender flare. So that's another difference. And then again, blacked out badging here. You can see that's all the same. And then they both have the trailer mirrors on the trucks so they both have the same functionality where they both flip up nothing too crazy happening with that and then you've got the 4x4 off-road sticker on the laramie whereas the bighorn doesn't and again no fender flare fender flare Let's go over the beds of both the trucks, starting over here with the Bighorn. You guys can see that this big of the truck has the six foot four bed, no bed liner, but it has the fifth wheel prep group. And then you can see you've got all the plugins for that whole setup right there. If you guys are wondering, payload capacity is just over, a actually just under, sorry, 2,200 pounds. Over 2,100, under 2,200. Anyways, coming over here to the Laramie, you can see same exact setup here on the bed with the fifth wheel. The only difference, this one has a power outlet here in the back. And then the payload capacity is pretty much identical. So you get the same payload no matter what truck you get. Let's go over the rest of the rear, starting over here with the Bighorn. You guys can see that you've got the base headlight, or sorry, taillights here. And then over on the Laramie, you've got the full LED taillights. So a little bit different from a taillight perspective. And then you can see you've got all of your regular badging back here. So you've got your four x four badge, your Ram logo, all of that. And then I do want to mention the cargo lights. Those are the same between both of the trucks. Body colored bumper here on the bottom portion. Towing capacity is right around 17,000 pounds. Same thing with the Laramie. So from a, you know, a towing standpoint, they're pretty much the same. And other than that, that's the back of the Laramie. That's the back of the Bighorn. Let's head into the back of both the trucks, starting over here with the Laramie. You can see you've got soft touch all along this little portion right here with the suede insert and the black dap trim. And then you've got more stitching and soft touch there at the top. And then with the seats, you can see that you've got soft touch seats. You've got the nice gray piping and then you've got the suede inserts on the seats as well, stitching all throughout. And the seats are actually really comfortable in general. And then lifting them up, you've got storage space underneath the seat. You've got little ice buckets right here. And then just down over here, you can see you've got a couple of USBs and a full power outlet. And then you do have some cup holders that pull out with the Laramie. Now they're both crew cabs, so the space is going to be identical with both the trucks. But anyways, 
So yeah. And then coming over here to the big horn, notice that you still get soft touch here on the side, but you've got cloth trim here, no stitching at the top portion. And then coming to the seats, full cloth seats, so it's like a darker gray color. Hopefully this is coming through onto the camera. Really soft to the touch. These are my favorite cloth seats in a um, truck in general. And then you still get the little uh, cup holder thing happening down here in the center. And then underneath you still get the little under seat storage with the trays. And then I guess we have a bunch of rubber floor mats with uh, this one. But if we like climb through all the rubber floor mats, we can see we've got a little vent here, but we don't have a power outlet. We don't have any of the plugins or anything. So a little bit different here with the big horn. And with that all being said, well, see ya. Let's go over the front of the Laramie. So again, we've got all the soft touch here in this area with all the stitching. You've got your window controls. You've got your mirror controls as well. So that's the power fold button. And then you've got your mirror adjustments. You can also adjust the convex mirror via that little control. And then again, suede insert with the stitching there at the top. And then coming here to the front seats, again, you've got the full black leather with the piping. And then you got the suede inserts on the side with all the stitching that all continues all throughout. Really nice to the touch and also looks nice as well. Adjustments here on the side of the seat. And then you guys can see the pedal layout just down below. And then over here, you guys can see this is for the little outlet in the cargo area. And then you've got your light controls here, your fog lights and your cargo light. Adjustments for the pedals, and then that's the adjustment for the steering wheel. And there's one more look before we pop into the Laramie. quickly go over the interior with the Laramie. So you've got a full leather steering wheel with a black stitching on the center. You guys can see you've got cruise control over here and then the gear limiter just right next to it. This is for your voice commands over here and then these are the controls for the little center stack with your phone controls. And then you've got radio controls in the back of the steering wheel. Column shifter, which is easy enough to use. And then you got a little stock there for the windshield wipers and the turn signal. Coming here into the center, you've got analog gauges on either side, and then you have that little center screen which you can scroll through a couple different menus, nothing too crazy. The thing they have added for 2021 is the little off-road page um, in that little center stack, but it just gives you basic information on the truck. And then we've got the full 12 inch display. So at the top of it, you've got your hazard lights and then the stability control. On either side, you've got radio controls and then climate controls as well. The Laramie comes with dual zone climate, here at the bottom, you guys can see that you've got your auxiliary buttons, your parking sensors for the front and the rear, diesel exhaust brake, your tow haul mode, and then you've got your trailer brakes that are integrated as well. Over here, you've got your drive line selects. So you've got your two-wheel high, four-wheel high, your four-wheel low, and then your true neutral, and then also the held sync control just right next to it. And then as for the 12-inch display itself, sorry about the sunlight, it's kind of blinding everything. Response time's really good. You guys can control stuff like the climate. It does come with the camera system. You just have a regular backup camera that has a little zoom in function um, with it and then as for the rest of the screen like i said response time is good and then you do get off-road pages for the 2021s now they pretty much just stole that from jeep nothing too crazy with that and then you guys can see you've got the center console here or so, well it's a bench seat but it also is like a center console which is nice got a little 12 volt inside of it with a coin holder cup holders here at the top and then yes it turns into a seat and then if you pick it up again you got more storage just underneath and then under here we even have more storage so pretty much just as much storage as the center console. And then you can see you've got a couple auxiliaries and then you've got the USBs down there as well. And then a full power outlet down here in this little area. And then here's the off-road pages, by the way, if you guys were wondering. And then you do have dual glove boxes. So pretty straightforward with that. It says Laramie at the top. Got nice stitching there at the top as well. And then finishing things up here with the very top, the Laramie does have a power sliding window control that via that button. You can drop down the tailgate here as well. All your light controls and then full black headliner. And with that all being said, let's head to the Bighorn. Taking a look at the door pan here at the Bighorn again, you've got the soft touch here with the cloth trim and you've got the darker trim just up above. All of your window controls here in this area, you do get power folding mirrors, but you do not get the power adjustment for the convex mirror, so you do have to adjust that by hand. And then here are the seats at the front, again, full cloth seats. You've got just really nice bolsters here with the seats, really soft again. My favorite cloth seats in the truck industry. And then you guys can see you've got the adjustments on the side of the seat, pedal layout just down below. All of your light controls, so you've got your fog lights and then your cargo light integrated into there as well. And then you've got your pedal adjustment, the steering wheel is manually adjustable just like in the Laramie. And there's one more look before we pop into the Bighorn.
Well, let's go over the interior with the big horn now. So you guys can see the steering wheel setup is identical to what the Laramie has. Everything is the same from a control standpoint. Still got the same shifter, still got all the same controls there. Now the center screen's a little bit different. Definitely not as large as what the Laramie has. So it doesn't look as cool, but pretty much shows you all the same information. So you're getting most of the same information just in a smaller format there with the screen. And that continues to the infotainment system as well. So you guys can see, still get a backup camera, still can zoom in with the backup camera as well. Um, still get a really responsive screen. Still get heated seats and a heated steering wheel. No ventilated seats here in the Bighorn though. Um, but yeah, this just doesn't come with as much. Doesn't have the off-road pages as well. So just a little bit different with that. But overall, most of the functionality is the same, just in kind of like a smaller format here. Just down below, you've got your analog controls for the radio with your stability control. Heated seats and your heated steering wheel with your analog climate controls. It's just a single zone climate with this truck. And then you get your parking sensors buttons here. You've got your tow haul mode, your diesel exhaust brake, your trailer brakes right next to it. And then you get your two wheel drive, your four wheel high, your four wheel low, and then your true neutral right there. And then you've got some USBs down here in this area with your little phone holder. And this one does have the center console on the bench seat. So you guys can see a little bit different with the setup. You got the measuring tables in the back. This slides backwards and forwards and then you guys can see just a decent amount of storage down here we've got the glove boxes over here in this little area so you've got the big horn in both of them nothing too crazy with that and then notice no stitching or anything up top and then finishing things here at the very top you still get a black headliner but no power sliding window it's just fixed rear glass here in the big horn and with all that being said well let's sum things up quickly get into pricing with both of the trucks so the bighorn stickers for about sixty-three thousand, almost sixty-four thousand dollars and then the laramie stickers for about seventy two thousand dollars now we obviously have to pick a winner for today's video so from an exterior appearance perspective they look very similar obviously there's a difference with the lights and the fender flares but other than that they look super similar and to the untrained eye most people might think that these trucks are pretty much the same interior Obviously, the Bighorn has a little bit of a worse interior compared to the Laramie, but is it eight or $9,000 worse? I'm not so sure about that. The Laramie does have a little bit more technology, which is pretty cool. But then from a towing capacity standpoint and a payload capacity standpoint, the trucks are identical. And so with all that being taken into consideration, I'm going to pick the Bighorn to win today's video. I feel like it's just a better value, and I feel like it's not like about, well, again, eight to $9,000 less truck. I feel like the Laramie is obviously nicer, but it's not eight to $9,000 nicer. But I want you guys to let me know in the comment section below, would you rather pick the Bighorn or the Laramie? That is gonna sum things up for today's video, comparing this 2021 Ram 2500 Bighorn Night Edition to this 2021 Ram 2500 Laramie Night Edition. And again, a huge shout out and thank you to the Dodge Ram here in Sandy for giving me some time with both of the trucks. Check out their inventory in the link below. I'll see all of you in that next video.